Hi guys, welcome to Abjada. In the last one, we created this beautiful blog. I call it beautiful because I created it. Um, which works. It has 100 posts. It fetches from an API. And if you go there, it shows the post. Now, um, we can add some features to it where uh, I think we I gave you a hint about it in the last one that we can uh, show who is the author of this. Uh, blog now this will involve very similar steps to how we uh, got the API how we used dynamic routes so there is a lot to learn here so let's let's see how we can do it now first thing is this is how uh, the posts are shown in the index this is how an individual post is shown I will just print out um, all the things that a post has this is useful to see all the information yep this is the one and here we see that there is something called user ID right user ID is 10 now that user ID using that user ID we can actually fetch the details of that user um, how is that possible because here we have something called users right and in users if I type 10 here uh, there is this user so we can get this um, now let's see how we can do that now for now uh, instead of this I will have uh, a p tag here and then I'll write something like um, written by right by post dot user ID now what happens here is it shows written by 10. Now this is not what we want. We want the details of this uh, user by this ID. Now the way we can uh, do this is by fetching the user very similar way how we fetched the post. Now we know that we already know the ID so we'll do const user response maybe. I mean response is already taken there so await fetch uh, I'll have this entire thing here and then um, I'll do user equals await user response dot JSON now we get user from this we can pass it here in the return function and we can get that here and this you already know how we do this now what I will do is I'll print that out user so all the information that we get from there will be printed out here now this will get the tenth user uh, that's that's good for us let's see yeah so we got the user 10 uh, this is not dynamic because if you go to some other post let's say something like this this is actually eight and we are getting the tenth user so you know how to replace that instead of 10 here we have to make it dynamic so we use post dot user ID uh, the same thing that we have here written by because post we already got the post and using that we'll fetch from another you know uh, endpoint and we'll pass that now let's see what happens written by 8 and we got the um, user with ID 8 now showing that ID you know doesn't make sense we'll show user dot name okay so this can go but before that we'll see it has an ID that is user ID has email location and all the things that you shouldn't be showing anyone okay right let's remove this it shows username now that's how we get a uh, user the, this is Nicholas something and if you go to the first one this is Leanne Graham and if you go somewhere here this is Clementina something now yeah this is how we do it and we can do one more thing we can have a route where we can see user information 
Similar to blog, we can have something like users and show it there, or authors and show it there. I'll do that here. I'll create an anchor tag uh, for this username. Okay, I will have uh, uh, slash authors and uh, user.id. Right? Uh, yeah, we'll uh, enclose the username with that. Okay. Uh, now what happens is it's clickable and when you click on it you don't uh, get anything because this route is not there we know how to create that route similar to blog we do authors I think I made a spelling mistake there authors and now inside we'll have something like id dot sweat now it could be a little confusing because this is also ID, this is also ID. I can change that to something like author ID. You can have anything here, that should be okay. Author ID dot <clears throat> Now if we have something here, uh, author, this will be shown to all authors. Like doesn't matter which author you click on. Let's say I click on this this author and that also shows author here also i made a spelling mistake something is wrong okay now we know how to get this you know id and then how to fetch the author from it i'll show that uh, it's very similar to how we did for blog uh, this should be context equals module by now you should uh, should be uh, you should be knowing what i am doing here so I'm gonna have a load function export constant load equals and then uh, uh, we already know that we're gonna get a page because we want that author ID uh, we are gonna fetch from uh, API that we already know and we'll return something right we're gonna return uh, props and what are we gonna return user this all we already know now um, I can console log page um, let user because you know I don't want it to throw an error when I do this I'll show it in the terminal what happens clear okay so we get this params and author ID is 10 so since we named it author ID, here also I made an error. Wow. Yeah, since we named it as author ID, it, it shows the parameters is shown as author ID uh, as 10. Okay. Now <clears throat> using that we'll fetch something. So uh, constant response equals wait and whenever we are awaiting for something it should be in an asynchronous function and here uh, we'll have this same thing uh, same thing that we did in the previous one uh, instead of 10 we need a dynamic value which is page dot params or instead of having all that we'll assign that to something const uh, id equals page dot params dot author id and we can just do id here and const user equals await response dot json it's pretty simple and one more thing we are not handling any error here which is the most important thing uh, when you're dealing with asynchronous function and also dealing with fetching from an api but uh, let's imagine everything is going good uh, everything is up and running so let's not do that right now um, so that can be um, f fed to the you know, uh, component like this export that user uh, this I have explained in the previous video you can watch that 
now uh, json dot stringify user let's see if we get the user information here all right we got it now uh, this can be a user page uh, where we show all the user information and i'll make it prettier by having a h1 here uh, and user dot name i don't know what, what all the information is there i think i can uh, do that and have that there uh, i'll have h1 user dot name i think i saw email so i'll have that you should not have your email on your website because um, anyone can get it and spam you this is not us so user dot email what else they have mm. okay catchphrase let's have that here uh, p user dot company it's a multi it's an object here inside an object dot catch phrase i think let me check that again yeah yeah so all right that should be fine ray centralized 10 models now that should be enough i mean let's not show any more information yeah now this is clementina to back for someone uh, her information now if we go to the first user and leanne graham we get leanne graham's information so this is good this is a this is a user page now uh, this should be enough for this video but in the next one what i'm gonna do is we have the user we will show all the articles written by this particular user in the same page and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video so that uh, there will be a lot of videos coming so watch out for them thanks bye bye